Mazak Singapore launched its latest entry-level automation solutions at their Open House 2020 this year. Here with me is Mr. Ong, manager from the design and development team. Hi Mr. Ong. Hi. Would you like to briefly explain on this latest solution that you have? Sure, no problem. Hi everyone, what we are looking at now is our latest IRP package which is stands for Intelligent Robot Package. So it consists of three main areas. First of all, it's a material stalker where we place our input and our finished product. Secondly, we have our high wind robot here which is our R610 series. It has a reach of about 1.4 meter. Last but not least is our QTE series machine. Best of all is that this package itself not only limited to our Mitsubishi controller which, it, which we can also integrate with our F, FX controller which is from Fanac. Hmm, so Mr. Ong, who do you think will benefit greatly from this solution? Actually customer that requires a high mix low volume or even those customer that faces a manpower issue. Those are the, our main potential buyers that require this kind of system. Hmm, okay, hmm. so what's the payload like? The payload of the robot itself is at 10 kg. Mm. Okay, I see that there's no safety fence here. So mm. will the safety be compromised actually? Oh, not at all. As you can see now, as where my laser pointer is pointing, we got this safety scanner. It's supposed to scan at two main areas. The one with a yellow line and red line, which is called our warning zone. Any operators that steps into the warning zone, the robot itself will pause. As long as they leave this warning zone, it will resume its operation. Other than that, you can see the red line here. Anyone that steps into the red line will cause the entire system to fall into an emergency stop state. Mm, I see. So actually, how does the robotic arm know where the pipe are placed? Okay, as you can see, right now the robot is in the machine. I'll show you one of the typical sensors that we use for this system. It's supposed to scan all the workpiece that we have on the pallet. As long as there's no workpiece, the robot itself will not pick up from that position. So as you can see now, the scanner is right here, which is hidden within the protective cover. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, it sure looks interesting. Will you be able to show us a demo? Sure. Okay, thank you. Over to you, Mr. Ong. Okay. Okay, at a height of eight, maximum 800 mm, the robot will scan the pallet to identify the location of all the works piece. Upon doing so, it will go proceed to pick up the identified workpiece and then sent to machine site for additional machining. So after, mach after machining, we can provide solution like turnover station if customer needs to operate on OP2. Or other than that, we can also provide MMS external measuring unit as what we have seen here, this Mijitoyo, uh, uh, Mijitoyo external measurement unit. So measuring data will be automatically offset into our machine to do the necessary two offset compensation. Now you proceed to the external measurement unit. At the same time, if you are looking at the pallet itself, you can actually witness the Magnus AMR changing one pallet to another. Finally, upon the completion of external measurement, the robot will pick up the workpiece and return to the original position that it has picked up from. And follow that, you will proceed to the next workpiece.
the, the speed of the robot that we are witnessing now is running only at about 30% of the maximum speed. You have witnessed for yourself how this simple yet perfect solution can help to shorten your lead time, address your manpower shortage challenges and also lower indirect labor costs. So for more information, please do visit our website over here. Thank you.